Okay, guys, we're here for the bonus episode. Has to do with the Instagram Colorado Avalanche top six players of all time. Colorado um, week. Colorado week on the Instagram. But what we're doing is nothing from before Colorado. So nothing on Quebec will count. It's only what happened after. It's not the best players to wear the uniform. So Paul Korea and Timo Solani, I'm sorry, you're not on the list. It's players that not only were the best, but also did the most for the team. So we came up with a top five for forwards, for defense, for goalies, and we narrowed it down to a top six. And Fargo, you want to give them the top six? I'll start off with one. First forward selected was Joe Sakic. Joe Sakic, got to be the guy, right? Everything Legendary. he did for that team, captain. Legendary. Uh, so uh, number two. Caps, Joe you Sakic. want to tell him number two? 1,015 points. You want me to go with number two? Yeah, give him number two. Eric Lindros. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. <laughs> um, That's rude. Oops. Forsberg. <laughs> that was so good. I was not expecting that at all. But that's good because they got traded for each other. Peter Forsberg. Forsberg. Has to be, right? 544 games, 705 points in a Colorado uniform. Uh, if he was healthy, he would have been, I think, number one. You know what the funny thing is? Yeah. Like During that time, while he was playing, he was considered one of the best players in the league. I still think he's one of the greatest players of all time, skill-wise. Yeah, I think he's up there. Definitely. All right, and I'll go with number three. So this was a close one. We had to – this is one we had to talk about, but me and Caps uh, pushed Fargo out of the pitcher. Uh, I got to say it's Nathan McKinnon. Like, he has carried that team for three seasons, and he's going to be one of the best players. He's probably going to be the best player all-time points-wise and stuff, depending if he gets traded from Colorado. I mean, I'm pretty sure Joel Sackett had 1,000 points. 525 games played, 495 points. Yeah, he's, he's not going to pass for uh, Milan Hayduk. Yeah, Milan Hayduk was our other option. But but hold on. How many points does Joe Sakic have? Are you, are you looking at it? Yeah, 1,015. 1,015. And how old is McKinnon? He's like 25, right? Or 24? I'm not sure. Yeah, so. I'm not sure. McKinnon I, I think there's a shot. There's got to be a shot. Right at the if he never leaves Colorado, he has a shot. Anyways, okay, on to defense. He has 350 games, basically, to do another 500 points. Okay, maybe not. But he might play more than 350 games in a Colorado uniform, and the total number is all that matters for points. Okay, anyways, on to defense. Fargo, tell him a defenseman. Sorry, sorry, one sec, one sec. What, how many points did you guys say Sakic has? 1,015. Wait, just, that's not possible. He never played on any team except for Colorado Avalanche. So are we talking just Colorado? Because yeah, with, oh, that's with, great because it's just Colorado. With, with Quebec, <laughs> yeah. he's got sixteen hundred points. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's where that's where I goofed up. Sorry about that. Anyway, I got confused there with Bargo. Okay, well that's why we keep caps around because he has the big numbers. Anyways, let's let's keep going. Are you talking career for Sakic? Yeah, or are we no, just we're talking just talking Colorado. Colorado. That's why we got. Confused. So we're talking just Colorado. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, Spargo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him a defenseman. Adam Foot. Yeah, got to go. Both championships. Did a lot for the team. I don't have much to say. Caps, do you have anything to say? Um, no. All right, you want to tell him the other defenseman? Rob Blake. Rob Blake. I got, you know what? I never knew he accomplished as much as he did on Colorado until I really looked at it. I was surprised. Like, statistically, the only person in question even close to them is, like, Tyson Berry. But, like, what has he done in Colorado, right? Sandus Ozelinch means more than Tyson Berry. Yeah. But, yeah, even – you could even argue Ray Bork for that one year, but I wouldn't because he didn't play long enough. Um, statistically, great year. Yeah. A great year. His plus minus was 36. 94 uh, – 80-something. I think it was 90. Four games played in a Colorado uniform, we had like 80 something points. That's crazy. Anyways, okay, we'll wrap it up here. I got the goalie, Patrick Waugh, obviously, winningest goalie of all time until Broder passed him. Two cups in Colorado. He meant the world to that team. He played really well on them. And I but can't I, even. But I believe Patrick Waugh still holds the 
uh, record for career wins in the playoffs. He could. I actually didn't know that. You just gave me a fact. Are you checking it? Um, I'm actually just checking it out right now. That That's actually a huge fact. I, I never even would have thought of that, to be honest with you. Did Colorado make it to the playoffs every year with uh, – Patrick Watt? Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. That's like a, a – I'm surprised I never even thought of that stat, to be honest with you. I mean, he has so many. He's top of so many categories, so it's pretty crazy. Um, well, you guys keep it going. I'll, I'll look it up. Well, anyways, so – there wasn't many options for goalie either way, but I don't think we would have picked anyone except for Patrick Waugh. I would have said the next best choices were like Varlamov and Abisher. There was another guy you had. Uh, I had, I'll tell you right now. Because Abisher wasn't a great goalie, but in the short amount of time that he played in Colorado, his wins to loss ratio was pretty good. Peter Budaj. Peter Budaj. Or Budai. Is it Budai or Budaj? I don't remember. And oh, yeah. uh, Jose Theodore. Mm. But he, he his win percent was horrible. He he came out of Montreal with he won a Vesna, didn't he? He won a Hart Trophy, I think. Yeah, and then but, went to uh, Colorado. He didn't do anything. Yeah, like fifty-two wins and forty-nine losses. Or did he go from Colorado to Montreal? I don't even remember. I didn't even Sorry, think what of was him. the question. Uh, Jose Theodore. Uh, I believe he went from Jose. Montreal to. Colorado, and if he didn't do that, I think he went to Florida first. I could be wrong. Okay, okay. So, but he did play on Montreal before Colorado. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I think uh, Montreal drafted uh, Theodore. So, I was looking up uh, NHL goalies, all-time playoff wins, leaders, and Patrick was uh, number one with 151. And well, who's number two? Martin Brodeur, 113. Whoa. Did you say 152? 151. To 113? That's a yeah. big guy. Number, number, number three is Grant Fear with 92. That's crazy. And number four is 88, El, Ed Belfort. And um, that's all I got. That's insane. That's such a huge K. If, we didn't, if you didn't come up with that stat right now, like that's a mind-blowing stat. That's like a Wayne Gretzky number stat. All right. Yep. So, anyway. Anyways. Top six Colorado players of all time. Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg, Nathan McKinnon, Adam Foote, Rob Blake, Patrick Waugh. Check the Instagram. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Do all those things. That's Caps. That's Bargo. Peace out.